Pentiment is a narrative adventure game set in 16th century Bavaria, which is part of the Holy Roman Empire. You play a character named Andreas Mahler, who is an artist working at a Benedictine Abbey. Uh, he gets involved in a series of murders and scandals and tries to unravel them over a period of about 25 years. The name Pentiment, it is specifically referring to paintings in which there's an older painting underneath the painting that you see on the top. And if you scrape away the top layer, you see what was left behind. Uh, this has a bunch of significance. Obviously, you're playing a painter, but also it has a lot of significance to the idea of history kind of being covered and uncovered over time. When I saw narrative-driven games with really distinctive art styles, I was inspired to make a historical game that uh, focused on the unique art style of the early modern period that was really driven by the relationships between characters and the stories that played out over time. Hannah Kennedy was really integral to defining the art style of Pentiment, especially blending the late medieval illuminated manuscripts with the early modern woodcuts. Yeah, so there's a lot of major points to solve and kind of marry between wanting this to be a true to the history, true to the feel of the source material that we were referencing as far as the narrative, but also thinking about the types of games that were like what we imagined we wanted as far as a gameplay experience. From the beginning, I knew that I wanted to portray a community that changed over time, which meant that characters are changing over time. That's really the, the focus of everything. Um, the buildings do change, but really it's the characters where you see all the, the crazy stuff happen. Kids that I had become attached to because it's a four-year-old, and we designed them to be a four-year-old, and then they're getting married, and then I felt a weird like emotional reaction to that because I'm like, oh, baby's all grown up. I think the 16th century has always been really interesting to me because it was a time of such social upheaval in Europe. I think when we look at social change in the past, it seems like it's a thing that always happens outside of our time. But right now, I think we're maybe more aware of than ever that social change is happening constantly and people are always struggling with it. It's always a difficult process. And so I hope that by looking at people from the past, we can see that even though the setting might be different and the specific issues might be different, ultimately we always struggle with social change. <laughs>